Hello, I'm Frank Jackson. I'm a gastroenterologist. Gluten, celiac, and prebiotics. Many people now know about gluten that is present in wheat. If you have celiac disease, you absolutely know about wheat gluten. However, you may not have heard of prebiotics. Prebiotics are not probiotics, which are live bacteria as in yogurt and pills. No, prebiotics are special types of plant fibers which are very important to bowel and body health. Without enough prebiotic food fiber in the diet, you end up with a bowel condition called dysbiosis. Dysbiosis is a science sounding word, but its meaning is really very simple. Everyone has a huge bacteria factory within the colon. It is like a fermentation tank where foods enter it, bacteria in the colon feed on the food fibers the body doesn't use, and, you hope, good health outcomes occur. Indeed, the colon under normal circumstances is a marvelous health organ. However, when you have dysbiosis of the colon, you have a bad imbalance of bacteria in the colon. This, in turn, can produce bad health outcomes such as leaky gut, chronic inflammation, a tendency to gain weight, and unwanted health problems. This is dysbiosis. People with celiac disease and those with gluten intolerance who are avoiding wheat, barley, and rye almost certainly have dysbiosis. It may be because of the basic celiac problem, but more likely it is because of a lack of prebiotics in the diet. So again, what are prebiotics? They are food fibers found in many plant foods such as asparagus, onions, garlic, yams, and many others. The best colon bacteria grow prodigiously when these prebiotic food fibers are available for their own nutrition. When this happens, these good bacteria push out the bad ones. The balance in the colon shifts to a good one in a dramatic way. You can go to my educational website, jacksongi.com, to get all the details on prebiotics and their benefits. So here is the dilemma for those on a gluten-free diet. In North America, up to 70% of the good prebiotic fibers that the population eat come from wheat. You heard that correct. When you give up wheat and gluten-containing bread, you also give up the major source of prebiotics in your diet. So, you end up with a good outcome in the small intestine by avoiding gluten, but you end up with a bad situation in the colon where the absence of prebiotics leads to the unwanted dysbiosis condition. I have a personal interest in this story because it was I that uncovered the fact buried deep in the food literature that 70% of prebiotics eaten by Americans come from wheat. So when you give up wheat, as all celiac patients must do, you are almost giving up all the beneficial prebiotic fibers in the diet. For those with an interest in this story, you can go to my website, jacksongi.com, and search gluten prebiotic. What is the bottom line then for the celiac patient and those with gluten intolerance? Let me list them. One, stay in close contact with your physician or gastroenterologist. Two, stay in closer contact with your gluten-free diet. Three, learn about prebiotic food fibers at jacksongi.com and now how they increase bowel health. Four, increase consumption of plant foods that are rich in prebiotics but have no gluten. Five, use a dietary supplement such as our gluten-free prebiotin to be sure you're getting enough. It is readily available at prebiotin.com. I wish you a healthy digestive system from your good gut friend, Dr. Frank Jackson.